Aurora, He-Man's twin sister and defender of the Crystal Castle. This is Spirit, my beloved steed. Fabulous secrets were revealed to me the day I held aloft my sword and said, For the honor of Grayskull! A few others share this secret. Among them are Light Hope, Madame Raz, and Cowl. Together, we and my friends of the Great Rebellion strive to free Etheria from the evil forces of Horda. tell you how much I appreciate your meeting me here, Prince Orwal. If Hordak ever found out that you were giving supplies to the Rebellion, the risk you're taking... The risk is worth it, Adora. My father and I hate the Horde's rule. Our only regret is that we cannot give more to the Rebellion. But, as you know, the Horde is keeping a constant watch on our little kingdom. These tiny wagons are all that we are able to sneak past their guard. I realize that, Orwal. But we're still grateful for the supplies you do manage to get to us. Wow! Our spies were right. Adora is here with Prince Orwell. We'll take them both. And because a lot of people fleeing the Horde come to us, we need food, medicine, clothes. Then you shall have them as much as you need. Now! Get them! Ambush! Storm Cloud, wait! Over here! We can't afford to let them catch you. Take spirit. Head back to the kingdom. But what about you? Please, just go. I can take care of myself. You want me? Come and get me. That head should keep me out of sight long enough to do this. For the honor of Grayskull! your little robots, Catra. Ah, you again. Hordak thought you might show up, so he gave me this. It can make things very, very light. Change their shape and make them very heavy again. This should hold even you. Well, Catra, what else did you have in... Mine! Oh, not bad. Almost as good as Horax trap. <laughs> Wherever this leads, I hope they don't mind guests dropping in. Got to slow down somehow. Just got to hold on. Safe way to land on all fours. Oh, it's a maze. But who could have built it? And why? Left or right? <sighs> it would be a lot easier to know which way to go if I knew where I was. That's evil. What kind of place is this?
reading, Sir Tao. Oh, hello, Percival. Oh, oh, what are we here? I'm afraid I slept through the council meeting again. Did I miss much? Oh, just the usual request, a long talk on working together in peace and ending with the hope that someday our beloved queen will return to us. Hmm, interesting. A city of cats. Just the place to slip through unnoticed. As long as it wasn't uh, anything special, wouldn't want to miss that. Well, good eating to you, Sir Tao. And to you, Percival. By the whiskers of Saz, it's the Queen. The Queen? Your Highness, you have returned. All right, fun's fun. I like puzzles, but this one's no fun. From now on, I'm going in a straight line. There she was, the Queen. It was as though she appeared out of nowhere, Minister Cloudfoot. Hmm, yes. She does look like the Queen, even down to the mask. But we must be certain. Oh, if they think I'm their Queen, this could be my big chance. Hmm, do you remember anything before you were found at the entrance? No, I can't remember a thing. Then perhaps this will help jog your memory. When the horde came from the sky in their terrible machines, we ran to hide here in half moon. Everywhere, prisoners were taken. Knowing that some of our missing people were being held captive, our queen left to search for them. And that was the last we saw of her. Hmm. That would be about the same time Hordak gave me this mask. It must have belonged to their queen. Does any of this help bring back your memories? Yes. Yes, it does. Good. Then you will not mind submitting to a test. The queen's mask was very much like your own, but hers had magic properties. She kept most of its powers secret, but I do know of one. She would say, freeze fire, and a ray would come from the mask to freeze whatever she was looking at. Can your mask do that? I oh, I guess I'll have to show these fools. Of course it does. Freeze fire! Whiskers of Saz, it worked. Oh, it did? Oh, of course it did. I am your queen. Then it's true. Only the queen's mask would respond to that command. The queen has returned. We must have a coronation. We must... Minister Cloudfoot! Minister Cloudfoot! Our sentries report an intruder. A human female. Coming this way. She has a sword. She... Um, say no more. I know who she is. My memory is returning. The intruder is my enemy. An enemy of all cats, an evil human. Her name is she -ra, and I command you to prepare a warm reception. Why, it's an underground city. I wonder who lives here. Looks like I got my answer, and they don't look friendly. Bright claws, ready? Arm bright claws. Fire! Can't keep up with all of them. Run and let me save you the trouble. Freeze fire! Catra! Well, 
welcome to my kingdom, Shira. I think you'll like it. In fact, I don't think you'll ever leave. Ooh, who would have thought that losing to Shira would have been my lucky day? Wait till I tell Hordak about this. Then why should I? I have the mask, and I will soon be crowned Queen of Half Moon. What do I need Hordak for? I will stay here and rule an empire of my own. But to keep the secret, Sheila must never leave this place. Oh, my head. Where am I? <gasps> now I remember. Catra. She's responsible for this. <sighs> I've got to get out of here. You needn't bother. You'll uh, only tire yourself out. Why are you holding me here? You attacked our queen. That's funny. As I recall, your people attacked me. But that does explain why Catra called this her kingdom. It all comes together now. I'm being kept here, so I won't ruin her plan. That's not your queen. That's Catra, one of Hordak's force captains. Hmm, I was afraid you would say something like that. How do you explain her mask? Long ago, I was under a spell. I worked for Hordak. He told me that he took the mask from a prisoner, a large cat, and gave it to Catra. And what of the prisoner? She was sent to a Horde slave camp. No! I can't believe you. We have waited so long for our queen to return. In a little while, she will be crowned again, and all rule over our city turned over to her. Then we have to stop her now. She is not your queen, but once she's crowned, it will be too late. She really will be queen. The wrong person will be sitting on your throne, and your real queen will still be a prisoner of the Horde. I will think it over. I'll never do that again. Never, ever, ever. Catra! Come in, Catra! Where are you? Ah, yes, Hordak. What is it? You were due back here hours ago. What happened? Well, let's just say I got sidetracked. Then I suggest you get back on track. I expect you here within the hour. Hordak, out! The human was right. This is not our queen. Oh, you have a long wait, Hordak. Because soon I'll be in charge of an army of my own. Not if I have anything to say about it. Almost got it. Just a little more. You were right. She is not our queen. And I had so hoped. Well, no harm done yet. If you let me help, there may still be time to stop her. Thank you, Shira. But we must hurry. The ceremony is about to begin. We must get there before she is crowned queen. Friends, felines, country cats, we are assembled here today to restore our queen to the throne. Once this crown is placed upon her head. My work shall be done, and our queen shall rule again. No, wait! She's not your queen. She's an imposter. Real gods! Seize her! She's lying! Come on! Wait! Sir Tao, listen to her. She is telling the truth, my friend. We have made a terrible mistake. Let us not make another. Then what do we do? Nothing. Our real queen could defend herself against one human without our help. Well, Catra, it's just you and me now. Well, yeah, then come on. You've interfered in my plans for the last time. Hmm, this could be just what I need. Shh. 
Not good enough, Catra. Oh, then let's see what this does. Not quite, Catra. And up. Why don't you tell them what happened to the real queen, Catra? Why don't you tell them she's a horde prisoner? No! I'm the queen, and you're not taking that away from me. don't have anything, not me and not the throne. You know, Catra, you're bad enough to start with, but when you take advantage of these gentle, patient creatures, when you impersonate the queen they've been hoping for years would return to them, frankly, that makes me mad. No! You ruined my plan. You ruined everything. And now, to unmask you. Then it's true. We have been tricked. See that? I command you. I'm... I'm... getting alone here. She dropped her communicator. But when she gets to Hordak, she'll tell him all about you. No, she won't. You're about to find out why we are called Magic Cats. She cannot tell Hordak what she does not remember. What in the name of the Ford is that? is safe. But she still has the mask. It doesn't matter. Once it has been used for evil, it cannot be used for good anyway. I only wish that our queen had returned. Hmm. This communicator gives me an idea. There might be a way to return your queen. If your magic also includes illusions. Illusions? Why, yes, of course. What kind of illusion do you want? I want you to look like Hordak. What's taking you so long? I want that prisoner now! We're almost there, Great Hordak. Hordak sure is in a rush. And why do you think he wants the prisoner all the way out here? We're not supposed to think. Anything else, Great Hordak? Just leave. I'll take it from here. Wow! Well, I don't know why you brought me here. But I won't tell you where my people are. I'm glad to hear you say that. <gasps> my queen. Perzival, is it really you? I thought it was Hordak. It was merely an illusion, your highness. But that cage is real enough. Wow, oh, you must be Shira. I've heard of you from Hordak. You're a problem to him. I like that. I wish there was some way for us to repay you. There is, Your Majesty. Prince Orwal! Come in, she -Ra. Your Majesty, this is Prince Orwal. He and his father have been kind enough to supply the Rebellion with many of the things it needs. And we would like to do more. Unfortunately, wagons of this size are too easily spotted by the Horde. However, with your people's power of illusion, you might be able to help us out. Of course, Shira. Percival. At your service, Majesty. Don't worry, Shira. We'll deliver those supplies. After all, the Horde can't stop. What they cannot see. Wonderful. You've made them invisible. It was the least we could do, Shira. After all you've done for us. Thank you, Your Highness. But I suggest you return to Half Moon quickly before the Horde realizes what we've done. I shall, Shira. And thank you. I think I know the way 
back. She's back. Really back. It's wonderful. It's more than wonderful. It's perfect. Why, Shira, you even speak our language. <laughs> Hi, it's your friend Lucky again. Did you find where I was hiding today? If not, look for me now. See me now? Here I am. You know, you live on a beautiful planet, and you can help keep it that way. One thing you can do is not litter. Don't throw papers and cans and bottles on the ground. If you see a friend at school or play being a litter bug, ask them not to. Please help keep your world beautiful 